Hi beauties, welcome back or welcome if it's your first time. Always happy to have you. We're gonna do a get ready with me today. Um, I'm not really getting ready for anything in particular. I just have been itching to use these things that are in my stash. So let's get to it. I am gonna be trying out for the first time today the Huda Mercury Retrograde Palette. That's what she looks like. She's gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm definitely doing a neutral look today. We'll save the color for another day. That's just what I'm feeling. But I would say that's pretty much what this palette is, is neutrals. There's a handful of more colorful shades. So let's just jump into it. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Okay. No idea what I want to do. Who's surprised? We're just going to start with a the shade crash here. Run it through my crease. How is everybody today? I really, really, really hope you guys are doing well. It's Tuesday. Um, the first day of fall is tomorrow. If you're excited about that, fall is probably my favorite season. Like it is, I feel like almost everybody's favorite season. I don't know. There's just something like so comforting about like cooler weather and the leaves changing colors and just like wearing sweaters and boots and like I don't know just all that basic shit is <laughs> is exciting to me um football season we are a football family we really are never thought I would see the day but we are a football family we love football season um we usually watch games on the weekend we'll cook a nice meal just kind of chill, relax. Um, it's nice to like finally have all the windows open in the house, which I do. So you probably will, you know, be hearing birds and cars and all types of things out there. Okay, this actually is showing up quite pink on my lids, which I didn't expect. But um, yeah, I don't hate it. It just wasn't what I was expecting. Okay. I have never, ever, ever tried Huda's eyeshadow formula before. So this is like a first impression of sorts too. Okay. Well, that kind of throws me off a little bit. That was, like I was saying, I really thought that would be more like brown neutral, but that's okay. It's more of like a rosy color. Um, what do I want to do now? Let's see. I might go in with more of a brown shade. Hmm. Pause. You know what? Let's do, let's do like a rosy look. I'm gonna go in with this darker shade called Hot Mess right here. And then I'll probably do like this rose gold all over my lid. Gonna keep it relatively simple because I don't know like if anybody else has felt this way recently, like, it's not that I am not enjoying doing my makeup. Like, I love doing my makeup and I think I always will. But I just have been, like, not as psyched, I guess, to, like, create eye looks, like, to sit down and use a palette. Like I really, really have been into just super low maintenance, like quick, easy eye looks. Like this weekend when I did my makeup, I just ran a matte shade like this all through my lid and then I just grabbed like a single shadow and swiped it all over. Didn't do any deepening, like nothing. That's all I did. I just did that and threw on some mascara um, and that's just kind of what I've been into for eye looks. I don't know. Like, I just have not been wanting to <laughs> to spend time, like, doing my eye makeup. I don't know. I don't know if I'm, like, burnt out on it. Um, 
I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna say I don't feel creative because I really don't ever feel creative. I'm like truly not a creative person. So it's not like, it's not like that's the problem because that's always the problem. Which is why I stick to the same techniques. It's just, it's easy for me to do, it's beautiful, it's, you know. If it ain't broke. Okay, these shades are blending really nicely. I don't, I'm not seeing any patchiness. This is a pretty, pretty color, pretty maroon. Let me catch my other eye up to speed here. Eyes are fine for now. I'm not going to be too bothered by having them perfect because like I always do, I'm going to end up covering most of that with a shimmer. And I am definitely going to go with this Supernova shade, this rose gold. If you know me at all, you should have known that's where this look was going. And let's just get this all over my lid. I'm gonna pack and then swipe. Try to get the most color payoff um, while avoiding fallout, if you can. Even though, as you know, that's not really a, a big deal to me. Wow, okay. That's beautiful. That is really, really gorgeous. Okay. I do have glitter glue on. I forgot to mention that I always, always, always use a glitter glue with my shimmers. Ooh, that is beautiful, honey. Okay, then we're just gonna go back in with this brush, just kind of blend everything, get these edges together. That maroon shade that I used, or that plummy shade, was really nice. It was like soft. It wasn't super, super pigmented, but it's, it's nice and buildable which I appreciate because I actually, I didn't want anything super dark. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with that original shade, Crash, and again, just kind of go over everything. Windshield wiper motions, make sure everything is nice and smooth. Okay, I love this. Just a simple little rose gold look. Okay, let me clean up my eyes. All right, let's move on. Am I, I don't know why I feel like I'm never in focus with this thing. Hang on, sorry. Maybe I'm like being paranoid about that. We're using my my Vive Skin Nova. Uh, you guys, I'm sorry if you can tell how dry my nose is. Like, the skin around my nose is peeling because I have had such terrible allergies, I feel like, these last few days. My eyes have been so watery. It truly looks like I've been crying. I have gone into like sneezing fits where I'll sneeze like 10 times in a row. My nose is runny. So I know you can probably see that, but you know, that's just, that's what it is. But I'm feeling much better now. I actually never ever in my life had have ever had a problem with allergies until I moved to Missouri. Okay, I'm gonna use my Flower Beauty Get Real Serum, which this stuff separates on me really, really easily. So 
so I'm just trying to get it all mixed together here. Is that normal? Like serum foundations? This is the only foundation I have that I notice separates so easily. Okay, what shade do I want to use? M1 or M2? Let's try this. M2. We'll do a couple squirts. I know that I can probably get rid of one of these shades, but as I've mentioned before, I just, <laughs> it's been hard for me to figure out like which one is really the best shade for me because they're just so sheer. Like, do you see that? There's such sheer coverage that it's like, by the time I get them on my skin, it's like, there's almost no difference. You know, it's almost hard to distinguish which is which. So that's just kind of why I've kept both. I really, really do enjoy this serum foundation. It is, it's just like, I just feel like it's so lovely. Like it's sheer, um, it, it, if you need more coverage, you definitely are not gonna like this but I am at the point where I don't want a ton of coverage um, I actually am pretty happy like 95% of the time with how my skin looks I don't like my skin is definitely not perfect but I'm totally okay with the imperfections that are there you know I don't I don't need to have every little single thing covered up and I honestly don't think I'm gonna use concealer today I know I kind of mentioned the last few times I've been doing my makeup I haven't been wearing any and that's what we're gonna do however I what I still have been doing is taking a little bit of my powder and running it underneath my eyes regardless of if I'm wearing concealer or not I just feel like it helps with um oh look at my nose Ugh, my poor skin I just do feel like it helps keep my mascara from smudging underneath it just helps okay let me believe that okay let's do something very simple and neutral to my lower lash line i'm probably just going to use the same two matte shades that we used up top i'm going to use that purpley maroon shade out here and then run the other color all the way across use my dark star mascara which I do have kind of an update on that um I actually am finding that I am liking it more and more um for whatever reason I don't know I don't know if I just needed to use it more but it has definitely it's not as dry as it was when I first started using it um, and I don't know I really am kind of enjoying it um, it's I still don't know and I don't think it's gonna be like my absolute favorite mascara and I really actually highly doubt I will repurchase it unless she has you know some kind of sale or something I definitely did not buy it on sale this time and I will not do that again but 
I could see myself repurchasing it if she had a sale down the road. But okay, I'm gonna add, um, I might add like that, like a purple or pink to my inner corner, get my lashes done and we shall return. Eyes are what they are. I added a little purple in my inner corner for some zhuzh. Um, I don't know, you guys, you guys can be the judge on this mascara. I don't know, I just, you know what? Scratch everything I just said, okay? I do not think I will repurchase this mascara. It just makes zero sense to me when I feel like my, oh, I have some on my eyelid. Okay, sorry. Um, it just doesn't make any logical sense to me to repurchase a mascara that was probably $40. Um, when there are drugstore mascaras for less than $10 that I feel like do as good of a job, if not better. Like, it's just, it, that's nonsense. I feel like my camera is like focusing on the pillows and not me. So I don't know y'all, this could just be a mess of a video, but let's get into my complexion. Um, my complexion is really like where I have been having a good time, like enjoying doing my makeup. I know I kind of mentioned I'm like, I don't know, I'm just like not as excited about doing my eyes, but like my complexion products, I have been into. Like I just have been loving doing my base and my bronzer and my blush. And it's just, I don't know, it just has become like more fun to me recently. I kind of, I don't know. I go through different phases with my makeup. I'm, I'm fickle sometimes, you might say. But, you know, I love this makeup by Mario. Get the dry skin off my nose. I mean, this stuff just, look how quickly <laughs> and easily this stuff blends. Like, it's, it's insane. And it's lovely. Hang on, let me whack my brows on here real quick. And that's it. My Vive. Still formulating an opinion on this. I'm just mixing both shades together and going in. I do think that the colors are lovely. Um, I just, yeah. I'm just still getting to know her. I feel like my lighting's off in here too. It's so gloomy outside. Like it's so dark. I should have gotten my good actual ring light out today to film, but I just didn't feel like it. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm nice and bronzed, right? Looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath blush. I just feel like it'll kind of complement this eye look nicely. It's a nice satin finish. Oh, what's that? Fuzz. Such a pretty color too. Okay, we are going to use my Vive highlighter. Ugh, gorgeous. Okay, let's exfoliate real quick. You know what? 
I was gonna say I'm not gonna use a lip liner but I do actually want to go in with a lip liner because I want to give this lipstick like the best shot to impress me today so I'm just gonna use my Vive brat real quick okay I am gonna go in with the fashion fair lipstick in lace Oh, it's so soft. I was going to say, I don't know if this lipstick is supposed to be matte. There's no way. This is not matte. It's a satin at the very least, if not shine. I mean, this looks shiny to me. And that is fine by me. I love it. Oh, okay. Love that lipstick. So this is it. This is the final look. Um, kind of a first impressions of the Mercury Retrograde. Super fun and easy to use. Easy, easy, like super easy to put together a look. The shades blended nicely. Everything works well together. Um, I really like how it turned out. Simple but pretty. That's what I like. <laughs> um, yeah. Finished look. Get ready with me to do nothing today. Hope it was fun. Hope you guys are doing well. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like. Please subscribe. It would really, really mean a lot to me. But um, as always... Until the next time, take care of yourselves and take care of each other, beauties.